I want to start this video with an expression of how shocked I am about what's happening in Ukraine with the Russian invasion at the moment. My heart goes out to all the Ukrainians who have to suffer from this madness. I am truly worried about this terrible situation and I hope that peace and the sovereignty of Ukraine will be restored and that this violation of international law brought on by Russia will come to an end immediately. When it comes to today's video, a couple of months ago I made a video about luxury or shopping hauls and I stated that I wouldn't be doing any myself and I gave three reasons for that. That being said, today's video is a haul, but a different one. It is a stock shopping haul. There is no unnecessary clutter or stuff involved, nor are the purchases financial insanity. On the contrary, my money will grow in the long run and what's more important to me as a dividend investor, I will receive a growing dividends from those stocks on my way to financial independence. So in today's video, I will share with you what single stocks, ETFs excluded, I bought during the first two months of 2022. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Kalle, welcome to my channel on luxury and finances. I don't just share beautiful things with you, but I also talk about the money behind the purchases. In my mind, luxury should never be a financial priority. Our number one priority with money should be building financial security. And true luxury is freedom, something that financial independence affords. Before going through the stock shopping haul, let me emphasize the fact that this video is not financial advice. This video is entertainment and it is educational. I am not recommending any stocks. I am merely sharing with you what I have bought. If you are going to invest in the stock market, always do your own due diligence and research because only you are responsible for your own investment decisions. But without further ado, let's go through the list of the purchases. I made both scheduled and extra purchases, extra in the sense that I wanted to buy some stocks before the ex-dividend date so that I would receive the following dividend. In addition, I made some extra purchases because my broker had a special offer day with a fee of just one euro per transaction, the regular fee being eight euros. So the first purchase I made was a scheduled one on the 4th of January. In fact, the fourth day of the month is always my scheduled single stock purchase day. So I bought Leggett and Platt, a major furniture components company, among other things. Chances are that, for example, your bed mattress or car seats have technology or components of Leggett and Platt. I bought these shares because it is one of the smaller positions in my portfolio and it meets my criteria for dividend stocks. Among other things, it has a reliable dividend yield, which currently is more than 4%, and Leggett and Platt is also a dividend aristocrat, recently promoted into the dividend king category with 50 consecutive years of dividend increases. Next, I bought AbV on the same date, January the 4th, and that was an extra purchase because if I wanted to get the next dividend, I would have to buy it before January the 13th, the ex-dividend date. AbbVie is a major pharmaceutical and it was featured in my video on my top five US dividend stocks. Next, on the 14th of January, my broker Nordea, the biggest Finnish bank, had a special offer day for stock purchases from the NYSE, that is American stocks, with a just one euro fee per transaction. I had put some money aside for this special day and I was really excited and I felt a bit like a kid in a candy store when choosing which stocks to buy. So on that day I went for 3M because I believe the company is somewhat undervalued and it is a dividend king. The current PE ratio is very alluring for a blue chip and so is the dividend yield of about 4%. 3M is one of my core position and I'm happy to add any time the stock seems to be on sale. I also went for an extra purchase of Omega Healthcare Investors as I consider the stock to be at a discount and the current dividend yield is over 9%. I showcased Omega in my top 5 US dividend stocks video. On the special offer day, I also added to my position of realty income, ticker symbol O. 
Realty income is a rate short for Real Estate Investment Trust as is Omega Healthcare Investors and it is famous for its monthly dividend which currently stands at about 4.5%. I've been buying realty income pretty regularly for some years. My next special of the day purchase was Viatris, which is a spin-off from Pfizer, a pharmaceutical giant and one of the COVID-19 vaccine developers. I'm a long-time owner of Pfizer and my position in Viatris was started through the spin-off in the first place, but since then I've regularly bought more Viatris. So Viatris is a pharmaceutical like Pfizer and it concentrates on generic medicines, which I believe is a very profitable business as those medicines are less expensive than brand drugs. Viatris pays a quarterly dividend, the current dividend yield being above 3%. My last special of a day purchase was Mondelez, one of the biggest snack food companies in the world. For example, Oreo and Marabou are brands of Mondelez. The dividend yield of Mondelez is not that huge, it is currently a bit above 2%, but I believe in the long-term viability of the company. It is one of my newer positions and I've been adding to it little by little. So moving on to February, my scheduled individual company stock purchase on the 4th of February was Walgreens Boots Alliance. This is the company behind the Walgreens drugstore chain in the US and the Boots chain in the UK. I wanted to add it to my position because the stock is very attractively priced with a PE ratio of just above 6 and the dividend yield is 4 plus percent. So those were my single stock purchases during the first two months of 2022. In addition, I also buy three ETFs on a monthly basis, but that will maybe be the topic of another video. So what stocks have you bought so far in 2022? Please comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.